Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Manuel Graphics tutorial. Today in this tutorial we'll be um, making a uh, low poly tree. Something we've never done before. Of course we have. We're going to be making a more of a cuboid type tree today. Something looking like this. So I'll be teaching you how to model this and um, the materials I used for this. So uh, let's get started. So let's open up Blender. And of course, we've got our default cube here, and we're just um, going to delete this light. And we're going to right click on our cube, and we're going to enter front view, orthographic mode, scale, shift Z, and this is where we're going to make our trunk. So, to make our trunk, what I did was I went into wireframe mode and I loop cut and slide which is um, command which is control R and then I hit three on my keyboard and that splits this rectangle into three segments as you can see four segments so what I'm going to do here is I'm then going to go on a side and select a face and then I'm going to go to front and hit E And that, as you quite saw, extruded. I'm then going to go into wireframe mode and click Control R and hit 2. There we go. I'm going to go into the face select mode and on the top select, I'm going to select a top face. I'm then going to go up. And Basically, you continue doing this. Until you get a complex shape. So I'm just going to then, from here, I'm going to extrude up here. I'm going to control R on this rectangle. Make sure you're hovering over the rectangle you're going to select. Or well, the section you're going to add the loop cut and slide to. Okay, that's there. I'm going to then extrude from here. This is by far the most time consuming section of making this type of tree. And when you're loop cut and sliding, you want to go into wireframe mode. Just a little tip for you guys. And I'm just going to leave my tree 
looking it's almost done leave my tree looking like this okay pretty interesting shape I've got going here but um it's gonna look good so what I'm gonna do from here I think I might just extend the base up I'm just going to extrude the base so that's the shape we're going for and that's the shape we've got so our tree is looking okay actually I should have done this side but um, to, for tutorial sake I'll just leave it like this otherwise it'll be very long so we're then going to add a cube for our trees for our leaves sorry and the cubes can be positioned how you like different sizes of nice for the different parts of the tree well, let me just change into cycles Okay, nice looking tree. Now we can work on the materials I used for this tree. Now I'm not going to go into anything complex. I'm pretty sure I used a mixed shader. And we'll just go into compositing for this. Mm. Mixed shader. And I used a diffuse. I used a glossy I used a Fresnel for my FAC and for the color of course I used a it's actually quite a nice brown it was Nothing too grotty. I used the Beck Beckman. I changed that to 1.25 and the roughness I put up to 400. And let's just have a quick preview. That stayed at zero, I think that went up a bit. 1.35 perhaps? Oh uh, yeah, 1.35. And I'm pretty sure that's the material I had for them. So that's looking nice. We'll just give it a, uh, you know, a preview. Just so we know what it is. And we'll call that trunk. Now we're going to make a new material for this. And I'm pretty sure I had the same node set up. Fresnel, let's see up. Glossy, and a diffuse. And the colour, of course, was a nice limey green. That went to Beckman. And that is 1.35, where our roughness is set on 0 0.4. And that gives us a nice green there. And I'll just add a uh, 
viewport color. Do that. And you're going to add that to all your leaves, of course, because you're not going to add the trunk material to your leaves. And let me just get a sun quickly. And um, and that gave us quite the nice tree. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial, and I shall catch you in my next video.